All right, in this video, I want to give a real quick update to KOWP Dark Skittles. Two new pieces, a preset and a component, but also I want to talk to you about a quick fix that I finally did or finally figured out to get my SVGs to show up in KOWP. A couple of folks could not get that to work, so I want to share all that information with you right now. KOWP Dark Skittles, my newest preset is Wired Pods. A few people who did load this preset, they were having trouble... Uh, figuring out how to work it. So um, I got the preset loaded up. I want to, I'm going to delete this word right here, close. I, that doesn't need to be there. That was just for testing purposes as I was making that preset. But this is the preset. You tap on the date and time, and then you have your little wired pods. Uh, a lot of things that I've done tutorials on, the, the battery wave, that was one of my most recent ones. Um, the weather icons, or the uh, weather icon fonts, that is. But if we click on any of these circles or touch the circles, we can get some information um, about our battery or our device. Now, this stuff here is not very clear because I'm using the Retina display on my MacBook Pro. and. I know it doesn't look very good here, but it's just fine on the phone's screen itself. The weather, I tapped on that circle, and we can kind of switch back and forth. So here we're getting, you know, current conditions and a forecast right there. Then we have a little music pod down here, and then we have an RSS feed. And for the music and the RSS, these two here that we can switch back and forth between, we can change our songs and, you know, play our song there. And for our RSS, we can use these arrows to change the feed, use the plus to go to a new topic. And at any given point in time, if you want to close the pods down, just press that X up there and then it will animate back out to the default setup. So um, yeah, that's just a quick overview of that. Now let me show you the SVG stuff. So I'm going to load that component up. And it's going to be this one right here. And these are the same SVGs that you see. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger too. That's what's cool about SVGs. You can blow it up and uh, it doesn't lose its resolution. Everything stays nice and crisp. Um, it may not look very crisp here on this video, but I assure you on the device on my Galaxy S7, it looks just fine. And over in Affinity Designer, how I finally got these things to work was when I went to export all of these weather icons that I've made. They're not the prettiest thing, but uh, I'm having a lot of fun and that's what it's all about, right? So when I go to export these things, what I was doing is this little export settings in Affinity Designer. I don't know what Adobe programs or other SVG programs have, but this thing right here was checked. Set view box. Uh, I unchecked that. I was just going through here, testing things out, trying to figure out how to get it to work, and it was this one right here. So if that's checked, it would not work in KOWP. If this was unchecked, it would show up fine in KOWP. That one little thing there. So that's my fix. I don't know what shows up in Adobe. I don't have Adobe. <laughs> I can't afford Adobe. Uh, Affinity Designer, 50 bucks, one-time price, and you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. I don't know how it compares to Adobe. I'm not trying to say it's better. Hey, it's a great program. I know a lot of people are giving it a lot of praise. And I'm having fun learning about graphic design and all that stuff. So check it out if you're into making your own things uh, for a custom live wallpaper or just to, you know, start a new hobby why not that's what i've done most definitely that and apple motion but uh yeah there you have it two updates a component for dark skittles and a preset for dark skittles as well as a svg fix to get your svgs to hopefully show in your custom live wallpaper and that's it for this video i hope it helped